Rogue leader. Attack. Nope, oh, nope. Attack. Four. Purple leader. Five. Attack. Gold leader. Six. Attack. Here we go. Going right for this guy. Hey folks, it's Pat here. Welcome back. Episode number 21 of our playthrough of War on the Sea. And um, this will be our last video for the Japanese here. Um, kind of want to spool up another series here. Maybe as the Americans, there's a pretty cool mod out there that I want to give a shot. Uh, but, you know, this game has been, like, really, really fun. <laughs> and I, I've had a really good time, like, reliving this portion of the campaign here um, as the Japanese. But at the same point in time, we have enough naval dominance down here. Where even if the Americans land some guys here or here, um, we're going to be able to choke them out in the long run. And so, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of, like, operational-based games, operational-level games where... You know, you work with what you got, and you try and make a difference. And I think that over the course of this campaign here, even though it's only been three weeks since the beginning of the campaign, uh, we've basically got it in the bag. Um, now, yeah, I know some of you want to see the victory screen and whatnot, but at the same point in time, this is just, uh, it's getting a little grotesque, all right? And so, like, last last video, I let some merchants go. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I, I, I get why I shouldn't have done that, but at the same point in time, um, it's, there's just, there's little points. And so, and that's, that's kind of the problem with some of these games where they give you the opportunity to actually, like, build your own task groups and stuff like that. Um, and everything's based on victory points and command points in this case and stuff. And, I, I mean, I get it, and I, I understand that, like, you know, some of you might really like those games where you can completely flip, flip somebody over, but, you know, I, I, I like walking a mile in somebody else's shoes, and if I'm, like, walking in Yamamoto's shoes at this point in time, I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> and so, I, I kind of want to try my hand at the Americans or see what else, uh, you know, Bob, you know, comes up on the Steam store, but um, really, when it comes down to it, we're almost done here. So here, here's here's where we are. We have a battleship group here in the slot. We have a cruiser group out here. Both of these guys have to head back home because they are out of ammo. And um, again, that was partially my fault, bad commandeering on my part. But at the same point in time, um, ammo is a consideration in this game. And so let's send everybody home. We've got uh, Shokaku and Zuikaku out here with almost full flight groups. Uh, Zuikaku's a little short on Kates, uh, but we, we can handle anything that comes our way within the next day. Um, meanwhile, pulling the subs back to guard uh, the gap right here. I uh, got a new one coming down here. Got transports coming down uh, with uh, a lot of supplies, uh, some troops. Yep, some troops. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to be able to flip one of these two places over, even if they land a couple guys on us. Uh, it'll be okay. We actually do control the seas, and so that's what actually matters. So enemy troops have landed at the Florida Islands. That's Tulagi right here. And so <laughs> the Americans are going to try and take Tulagi from us, but we don't really care because uh, Guadalcanal is what actually matters in this battle. And they haven't actually built anything up here. So there's no airbase here on Malaita yet. And so, again, not too worried about it. Um, so we'll grab whatever is coming back down this way or, you know, interdict anything that comes up our way in the morning. But, again, not too terribly worried about it. So we got ASW groups cruising around here. There's light cruisers. That's probably that group that we beat up the day before yesterday. So let's go ahead and send out some search planes here. And just see if we can get uh, maybe another airstrike in. Let's uh, barf out some zeros down here. See if there's anything cruising around in the slot. Same thing with Buka. Go ahead and barf out all your zeros. Let's go down a little bit further this way. Just in case those guys are coming around this way here. 
And then, of course, over here we have the Chikuma, who has tons of, of uh, Jakes. And so let's just go ahead and radiate out some Jakes. I'm not too worried about anything that's too far away. But let's uh, get a few Jakes out here, just in case there's something exciting out here. But, again, we've, we, we, we've bagged both American carriers. Um... I'm going to do one more Jake here. Hang on just a sec. No, no, no. Yeah. So, again, I'm not too terribly worried about anything. Let's uh, check for submarines. Although, we haven't seen any American submarines in a little while. We might have a couple spooking around out here. So let's go ahead and pump out a couple more zeros. And I know I'm not using all the uh, the new things that the devs have put in there, but uh, maybe on the next playthrough, maybe on the next playthrough I will. You never know. Let's go ahead and shoot guys out, see what we can see. What is this? Four light cruisers, two destroyers, jakes, jakes. Four light cruisers is kind of new, so let's go ahead and hit that, shall we? Uh, let's do vowels here. Zui Kaku. You got lots of vowels, so let's go ahead and let's launch a strike out of Zui Kaku here. And get ourselves a couple more kills towards the end of the day. I-25 encounter must be resolved. Nope, we can ignore that. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. And there's those merchants heading back. Let's go ahead and hit those guys too. Oh, I don't really want to commit war crimes, but whatever. <laughs> like I said, it's our last video. Let's get a couple uh, strikes in here. Uh, change course. Hit up there. Hit those guys. There we go. So let's uh, let's get an airstrike in here. Oh my goodness, they're close. Oh, there we go. Got to hit the right buttons. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, I thirty nines right here too. They're heading towards us. Let's uh, let's bunch everybody up, shall we? Select all. Warm up. Let's do a uh, Vic. Let's take a nice little loop de loop around here and get in a nice attack position. Yep, shooting at us already. Let's see what we got. Cleveland. Oh yeah, we got a nice straight line here. So F6. Let's uh You are Cleveland. about you? You are also Cleveland. What about you? As are you. And you. You're also Cleveland. Alright. Well, let's see. Actually, we'd probably be better spool around this way at this point in time. So let's do that. Let's see. We got 12 valves. We could do 3 on 4. Or we could do four on three. Uh, yeah, let's hit them all. What the hell? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Let's, uh, let's get everybody uh, kind of uh, in decent position here. We can afford to be a little bit patient. way hit them that way there we go get everybody bunched up here do a classic air attack so so we got four Clevelands and hey, you know what I'm gonna do a four on three we'll let one of the guys get out of here because we got that other batch of valves coming down maybe we can hit them again 
Just kind of kick the Americans on the way out the door, so to speak. <laughs> oh, we got everybody in line ahead. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. And we do have a submarine wait up here, but he is way out of position. So let's uh, let's just go ahead and have these guys around this way. We just in really good attack position, about 90 degree angle. Sounds good to me. Bam, there we go. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Any of you guys who played Microsoft Play Simulator, you know how hard this is to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> especially since all these are piloted by humans. So, but in this case, they're all piloted by the AI. So let's go ahead and uh, punch some of these guys out here. Here we go. Oh, 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 one, two, oh. One, two, three, four. Warm up and Vic. One, two, three, four. Warm up and Vic. Two, three, four. Gold leader, form up. Let's hit these first three here. Be a little bit of an oblique angle here, but that's okay. So, that is okay. Alright, Val 1, target, Cleveland 3, attack, Val 5, Cleveland 4, attack, peel off, Val 9, gold leader, attack, Cleveland 5. There they go. Alright, let's watch the fun from your uh, perspective here. Oh, look at that, they got a kingfisher up. I don't think that's one of ours. Nope, not one of ours. That's a kingfisher right there. Here we go. Boo boo boo! <laughs> Let's go ahead and watch the fun, shall we? Here come our boys right here on this uh, line of cruisers who are heading back down to Espiritu. Thought they were done with this battle, but not so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is beautiful! Here they come, diving in, diving in. Of course, they're all shooting at them. Them, this guy, this group here has no AA on them. And so they're just absolutely gonna trash this dude. Let's see, we got bombs, boom! <laughs> lost one right there, lost two. Bombs, and what about you? Yeah, coming in hard. Boom! <laughs> oh, not too many hits, that's okay. That's okay. We got a couple hits. Let's uh, check out our losses. We've lost two, three vowels. We got some pretty decent hits here, though. Let's check you out. Burning, burning amidships. Burning amidships. Got that fire out. Nope. Still got a fire. You're doing okay. You are not doing so hot here, are you? Well, maybe it should be all right. Maybe. Never know. All right, let's bunch everybody up. Get out of here. I'm going to check this guy out here. Pretty decent. A couple decent hits. It's like he got all the fires out. Oh, not this one. Just have to see. Just have to see. But regardless, it's kind of a kick on the way out of the door <laughs> for our American friends. So, and that's fine by me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at that. He had to slow up pretty hard. We got, uh, we got some spinning on the screws. Going really slow. But again, she'll probably be alright. She'll probably be alright. 
and check out your leader here. She is actually burning mm -hmm. still. Let's uh, check our damage report. Moderate and heavy. Heavy on Cleveland number three. Heavy damage on Cleveland five. So this one's got heavy, heavy flooding. So we're just gonna have to wait mm -hmm. and see here a little bit. And of course, we do have I-39 spooking around out here. Let's go ahead and get you down here, just in case. Mm -hmm. Just in case there's an opportunity to kill something off. This one's actually burning pretty good. Mm -hmm. This one's burning and down by. Listen to port. Yeah. Surprisingly, they had a whole group of light cruisers here waiting for us. So, but this is uh, kind of a kick out of the door. Let's get the frick out. One more poor Cleveland. Burn it. Let's go ahead and uh, give me one of those, <laughs> just in case. So, but at the same point in time, she'll probably be all right. So let's just check our report here again. Boom! Ooh, maybe not. Heavy, heavy. So that's probably this one right here. Heavy damage, heavy flooding. And again, we still have another whole flight of Kates coming down this way, uh, just in case. And so we might be able to polish some of these guys off, but that's a pretty good airstrike right there. So it'd be better if we actually got some kills still on this one. But maybe the uh, devs have done a little bit better of a job with the, uh, with the damage modeling, although this one is burning pretty hard. So she is... Definitely burning midships right there. It's a pretty good fire. This one over here, she's not doing too hot either. Man, she's burning pretty hard too. Look at that. Now, considering we've had two of these cruisers survive like <laughs> an amazing amount of gunfire in the past, I'm not terribly optimistic here. So let's go ahead and speed this up. Just see what happens. See if they actually lose one here. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Ah, she's burning pretty good. Check the damage report again. Heavy, 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 moderate, moderate flooding, and no damage on the other two. So. Regardless, these ships will have to go back to Pearl for months, even if they live through uh, this uh, this pain that we put them through here. Oh, actually, oh, those are my valves. Never mind. They're still spooking around. I was thinking that might be the I-39 right there. Put your scope up, dude. Radar up. Oh crap, now I've lost them. My bad. Mm. Yep, valves are gone. Mm. Heavy, heavy, moderate. Yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here. Mm. Yeah. Alright. That's okay. We know where you are. So we got another batch of valves coming down here. They're right in here somewhere. So let's go ahead and send these guys right in the thick. See what we can spot. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and blow up some transports while we're at it. <laughs> Since we're here. Where are you? No such luck, huh? There you are. <laughs> ah, yeah, let's keep the groups together here and just go ahead and hit some transports on the way back home, shall we? 
So let's see, what do we got here? Target you, F6, you are a C3. Boat. C3. Hey, pause. There we go. All right, Bell One, target you. Attack. Bell Five, target you. Attack. Gold Leader, target you. Attack. There we go. Need another dive bombing run here in the late hours of the afternoon. Well, actually, no. This is early morning, so we're going to be able to get multiple strikes off today. And so, and these guys, of course, are completely unescorted, and so this is just uh, <laughs> shooting ducks in a barrel. So, or fish in a barrel. This is a, a duck hunt. There we go. Let's go ahead and watch it from uh, their perspective and see. Look at that. Three flights coming in. We can go ahead and do a little pew to pew here. But. Again, this is just us kicking the Americans on the way out the door. So, even if they drop like guys off on Tulagi and stuff, I mean, it's fine. So, we've totally got these guys beat. Here we go. Let's watch this guy. Boom! <laughs> Boom! And you! No, 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 no. Bombs? There they are! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> totally fine. So, oh, we lost one bird. There she goes. So, but that's okay. So, we got some pretty massive hits on these guys here. So, I absolutely stopped these three guys dead in their tracks. Let's go ahead and check out the damage report here. Somebody's sinking. Somebody else is sinking, so this one, this one's done. This one here, still alive somehow, but you here, yeah, no spin on the screws, and this one here is also done. So that's three transports for one valve. Yeah, that's a good exchange right off the bat. And so we just upped our uh, chill, our ship kill count by a substantial margin right there, and of course. You know, we got you know a few more merchant sailors on the bottom of the ocean here. So, and there's uh, no land in sight. So hopefully these guys will stop and pick some of these dudes up. Because uh, all three of these transports here are absolutely cooked. And completely donezo. Check that out. Yep. Done. Done. Terrifying sight for the sailors on this ship right here like but for the grace of God there go you and of course this one's done too and as is this one right here so yeah brutal brutal at least they don't have to get like uh, you know 2,000 Marines off there so get more than enough light boats so <laughs> just get out dudes <laughs> these guys will stop and pick you up but that's okay. We're done. Let's go ahead and get out of here. My valves here. Good job, boys. Form up. Head home. We're good. I-25 here could probably take a pot shot at those other three. But we don't want to waste the torpedoes. So our submarines here are completely preventative. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Well, everybody forms up. All right, off we go. Confirm. Three more. Dunzo. Let's go ahead and spool up another strike. We'll just hit them with everything we got. Eight vowels. What do you got? Six vowels. Kates. Yeah, let's go ahead and set some Kates. Shall we? Dear Kates, done. Head back down here. Grab whatever you can grab. 
Actually, we might as well do that with Zuikaku, too. Eight, six, eight. Yeah, let's go ahead and send uh, nine. Just going to ping pong strikes off these guys. All day. Yeah, I get it. All right, what do we got down here? Three destroyers, three merchants, two destroyers. These are Kates. Let's uh, head up this way. I want those merchants or the light cruisers. Yeah, let's go ahead and tactical these guys here. Here we go. Let's do another one. Watch everybody up. What do we got? These are our transports. Yep, let's go ahead and hit them. So let's uh, form everybody up. Let's go out. Let's go out this way. What are you? A lone kingfisher out here gets to watch all the action. <laughs> and I-25 is just a neutral observer. <laughs> oh, actually, let's take these guys down to uh, get down to the deck. Look at this. This is just brutal. So... We're gonna murder all three of these transports. Four Kates on each, so that's for Tapetis. Um, yeah, this is just a it's just a duck hunt at this point in time. So, but again, it's all designed to look at that man. That's beautiful, right there. Bam! Let's, let's do it. <laughs> Witness the uh, the power of the IJN and the. Uh, the uh, the remnants of Kita Butai right now, uh, set against some poor lone merchantmen. And see, that's one thing about this game that has kind of got me a little bit like put off on it. Now, I love the tactical combat. I love the way that this game feels. I love the the pompous of the guns, and you know the graphics are fantastic. But um, you know we've sunk so many merchantmen, and like. The Americans only had a handful of these guys, all right, especially the troop transports. So um, it was a real choke point as far as the Guadalcanal campaign went. And if you played War in the Pacific, you know that. <laughs> especially Gary Grisby's version of it. You know, I mean, you, you like, you know, you babied your transports because you only got so many of them, you know, but in this game, they just throw them out there like candy. You know, and this is exactly what the Japanese would do in this case if uh, there was no air cover, in which there is none. So there is no air cover here, and so these guys are completely porked. Um, and so we're just sending the best of the best. So this is Shokaku and Zuikaku, these are our flight groups. Uh, this is before either of the major carrier battles in the game or in the actual war. Um, so these are all veteran pilots who've been training for years, and they're not going to miss. I mean, well, a couple of them might, but, you know, at the same point in time, attacking a group, a full flight group like this, they, they, you know, this is just brutal. So, um, you know, and so again, that's kind of like one of my minor bitches with this game. Uh, but I get, again, I get, I get what the devs are trying to do here. You know, they're trying to give you a little bit more agency in how these battles go. And trying to fully understand. I mean, look at that. That's just, it's just brutal. It's mean, absolutely mean. How many planes we've got coming in here? <laughs> we're not attacking Pearl Harbor. We're attacking three transports. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. And as soon as these guys make this turn, we're gonna go ahead and bunch them up here. So, K1, two, three, four, form up. Five, six, seven, eight. Form up. Purple leader. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Form up. Gold leader. And here we go. Let's go ahead. Oh, actually, you know what? I want to target. I want to, just in case. 
Let's uh, go ahead and ID these guys. I don't know if that really makes a difference, but if it does, then uh, we will go ahead and do all the things. C3. C3. Gate 1. Target you. Attack. Purple leader. Number two. Attack. Gold leader. Three. Attack. Just look at them all peel off in there. Just ready to go in there and absolutely murder these transports in Vic formation. Check this out. This is just... And see, that's, that's what makes this game so freaking cool, is you can just kind of see the way that it looked. You know, back in the war, in, in in some respects, you know, I mean, these guys are all digital guys and whatnot, but still, I mean, <laughs> you imagine being like a Japanese pilot who've been flying around since like 1933, you know, and these are all your brothers right here, just coming in here and actually doing exactly what it is that you were trained to be to, to, to do for many, many years. You know, and then to have like three ships here that have like very little AA defense, this is just like classic, absolutely classic. And then like take it from this guy's perspective right here, and he's gonna be like, "Oh shit! <laughs> what are we gonna do? We got no cover. We got no air cap. We got we got very few AA guns. <coughs> At least they don't have two thousand Marines on each one of them." You know, but still at the same point in time, this might be your baby. This might be a ship that you actually, you know, sailed around on for years at this point in time as a merchant mariner. Or, uh, you know, even as a raiding. You, you, you would actually, like, really love this ship and, you know, the people who were on it and things like that. And just to see, like, you know, this air group coming in here, splashing down fish like that. And you got nothing. You can't do anything at this point in time. You can't speed up. You can't slow down. Because these guys here are bona fide frickin' professionals, and they know exactly what you're up to, you know? And we just lost one, but bam, there's one hit, two hits, one hit, two hits, three hits. What about you? You got hits too. Oh no, we only got two on her, one on her, two on her, I think. I don't know, I was too busy like thinking about it and stuff, but, you know, I mean, your ship is wrecked. I mean, this ship is only good for scrap at this point in time. You know, even if she makes it back to port, she's donezo. This one is definitely donezo. Look at this. Look at this. So, let alone, you know, like, what actually happened with the torpedo hits and stuff like that. Now you gotta actually, like, you know... Oh, I gotta get my shit, you know, grab my ship's cat and, you know, get, get the heck off this thing, man, because it's done, you know, these ships just aren't designed to actually, like, withstand any kind of damage, unlike those light cruisers who we've been fighting in the last couple games, but still, at the same point in time, here's uh, three more transports who uh, are not in good shape, let's uh, check the damage report here, shall we, so heavy, heavy, moderate, so type C3 back here, this one might live, because she's only got moderate flooding. These two up here, maybe not. So they still got burning fires. This one here is probably cooked. Yep. So this one right here, Dunzo. And in the South Pacific, as the Americans, this would be a major, major loss. You know? Major loss. You know, in terms of like their actual like capacity to support Guadalcanal or Tulagi in this case. Um, and let alone like whatever that is they're trying to do up there on Malaita. So this one's got an open burning fire on her too. Yeah, she's not gonna make it. Check that out. So a whole, whole, whole front end of the ship just absolutely engulfed in flames. So this is the point in time where you're like trying to, <laughs> you know. <laughs> gather up the wounded you know and you know like guys that get broken arms and stuff you know you gotta get them through hatches and up ladders and stuff and get out you know you're done so well maybe she may have got that deck fire out <laughs> so, <laughs> which is fine 
you know, but at the same point in time, um, you know, the Americans would have done in the war a much, much better job of actually protecting a convoy like this. You know? Yeah, because these are valuable ships. These are almost as valuable as aircraft carriers at this point in time in the war. Not, yeah, I get it. Not later on, but at this point in time, absolutely. You know, and there goes another one. It's just it's done. All right, let's check our damage report here. So we got heavy flooding on this one right here. She doesn't get that fire out. She's probably done. This one probably be all right. That's okay. We got more Kates coming. <laughs> we got more Kates coming. We're just gonna sit here and just ping them with strikes all night long. And uh, you know. It's the way that it goes. All right, Kate, where are you? Let's uh, go ahead and bunch you guys all up. We lost one. One Kate. One Kate, one transport. Good trade. Very good trade. Get out of here. Let's see what's going on here. Yep, that one's just going to roll over there. Sink. She's done. Absolutely done, though. And again, like, you know, some of you fans of the Atlantic campaign out there, you understand the plight of merchant mariners. So, but it's just as true in the Pacific as well. Just as true in the Pacific. Especially for the Japanese. Yeah. Especially for the Japanese. Let's check a report on this one here. Heavy, heavy. She's still got an internal fire there. We're just going to go ahead and give her a little bit of time, see what happens. Here. Let's see what happens. Her sister here, ah, she's maintaining station. She'd probably be alright. Let's just see if she gets this major fire out. So, because that's an internal fire right there. Oh, no, she's going to peel off. She's losing speed. So, but it looks like she's just popping smoke now. So it should be all right. Let's uh, check the report one more time. Heavy, heavy. Yep. Heavy damage. Heavy damage. It's okay. We'll be back. <laughs> That's what happens. We'll be back. All right. So those guys are heading back home. RTB. We got another one coming in here. I want to go after these light cruisers here with those guys. And then, uh, who is it? Shokaku? Zuikaku's got valves back. Let's go ahead and launch valves. We can't do that just quite yet. Let's go ahead and launch our valves. Send them down here into the, uh, the killing fields. All right, so these Kates head up that way. Go get those guys. And here we go. We got nine Kates. Let's go ahead and bunch you all up. Oh my goodness, they're right, right underneath us. So let's uh, go ahead and nav around out this way. Drop down to the deck. Oh, not that low. 500 feet. 500 is good. Yep, a little closer than I thought. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead. Let's see. We got nine Kates, so we got three on three. Right here is uh, three torpedoes, three, three light cruisers. We got a couple of these guys who are damaged here, so let's go ahead and uh, ID these guys while we're at it. So, because of course these are all Cleveland's. And some of these guys are not moving so fast, and so we should be able to bag ourselves a couple of these. Let's see, Cleveland, you, Cleveland, you, Cleveland, you, also Cleveland, and you, also Cleveland. We're going to go after the last three here, unless, 
there is one that is damaged up front and forcing these other guys to spin back around looks like they're all maintaining station so we're gonna go after four five and six uh, give me my kates here let's uh, nav out this way and back in like that anybody hurt? yeah you got a couple bullet holes in a couple of you guys that's okay you're all professionals so you're gonna be alright These guys are all maintaining station, so, you know, if they're going to run in a straight line and maintain speed, we will put torpedoes in you. <laughs> Looks like these guys were actually heading back up towards Guadalcanal, too. I don't know why. So, seems suicidal. Although they don't know that we're out of ammo. You and I know that, but they don't know that. That's okay. So we'll wait till these guys make the turn here and bunch them up into three groups of three. And then hit four, five, and six. Yeah. So if one of these guys up here was damaged, these other ones would peel off and make them a lot harder to hit with torpedoes. So but we're they're making it easy on us, and so we're gonna we're gonna take advantage of that. So here we go. Looks like everybody's on formation here. One, two, up, oh, one. Two, three, form up. Rogue leader, purple leader, gold leader, rogue leader, attack. Nope, oh, nope. Oh. Attack. Four. Purple leader, five. Attack. Gold leader, six. Attack. Here we go. Going right for this guy. This guy here, you're first in line. Let's see what happens. Look at them, they're all down on the deck, away from the other AA up here. And so, this should be a good run. Should be a good run. Taking some hits, Get a little smoke. Not these guys though. And of course, they're all moving pretty slow too. Let's just watch him come in, shall we? Look at that. Oh, there goes one. Splashed. Two splashed. Ooh, kamikaze! <laughs> It hit him right there though, man. So this is number three. Already got torpedo hits on all these guys. One, two, bonk. That was a that was a that was a dud. Look at this guy. He got kamikaze right on the forward turrets. So oh my gosh. Just absolute destruction. <laughs> yeah. These guys cannot be doing too well. Let's uh, check. You got some spin on the screws. You got some spin on the screws. How about you? You're dead in the water. Absolutely dead in the water. And what about you up here? Listen hard to port. Hard to port. Look at that. Mmm. Brutal. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. All the dishes and everything just like sliding off the side racks and pencils rolling off to the the edge of the drafting tables and whatnot. Decks of wash back here. Absolutely, absolutely brutal. And I had to go back and look this up after we fought a couple of these cruises. Each one of these cruises has like a thousand dudes on each one. And so. I didn't think they were that beefy, but they really were. So at that time, and so you got a thousand guys scurrying around there, trying to make sure that the ship doesn't meet the bottom of the ocean. Oh, fair enough. All right. Oh, we lost a lot of Kates, though. That that's not good. We only have two survivors here. <laughs> that's not good. So. 
And that's what happens with Turpidus planes, I guess. Alright guys, form up, head back home. Get out of here. Check our damage report. Moderate, moderate, heavy, heavy, moderate, moderate. And they might live. They might live. We're just gonna have to hit them with uh with the dive bombers when they come back, because this guy's not going nowhere. This ship right here is absolutely cooked. Dead in the water. Everybody's struggling to actually uh actually right this ship. Or prepare for uh, <laughs> a little swim. This one actually looks okay. I mean, well, not. She's going to have to go back to Pearl for months. <laughs> but I think she's going to be able to make it under her own power. Same with this one back here. She actually looks okay, too. So, just needs a little paint. Well, probably a little bit more than that. So, probably knocked all our bearings out of, out of whack. And, you know... All our cabling, electronics, and stuff back in the day. All it takes is a little jolt, and you got to go back to Pearl. Get everybody, uh, get the technicians on there to check it out. This one here is not looking too good, though. Let's uh, check this out. As far as the uh, let's speed this up a little bit, see if she got a fire breaking on her, or is she gonna ride herself? Yeah, she's she's not burning, so she's probably gonna live. Mm. Cleveland five, heavy damage, but no fire. Let's get out of here. It's all right. We got valves for you, man. Uh, RTB. So yeah, we're chewing through our air group here, but again, um, this will be our last hurrah. Zooey Kaku ready to launch. What do you got, Zooey? Five valves. Nah. nah. Don't worry about that. Show Kaku, what do you got? 17 valves. Let's go ahead and barf out another batch of valves here. We're just going to hit them with everything. Get down in there. It's going to be a day of destruction. Two destroyers, two light cruisers. That one's new. Uh, yeah, go ahead and take out the. Uh, uh, I want those. I want the cruisers. The valves. No, let's go ahead and do it. Take out these remaining uh, transports here. This is cruel. <laughs> this is cruel and grotesque. <laughs> but <laughs> I guess we'll drive the point home. <laughs> America is not welcome here in the Solomon Sea. <laughs> yeah, but again, cruel and grotesque. We got two badly wounded transports here, and we've got an entire flight of valves. Um, who are just going to absolutely murder these guys. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and even though we lost a lot of Kates on the last one, I mean, Shokaku still got a pretty mighty punch um, stacked up here. So let's go ahead and bunch these guys up. Two, three, four, five, six. Pour them up. Rogue Leader and Urple Leader form up. Rogue Leader, target one, attack. Urple Leader, target two, attack. And just look at this. Oh my gosh. Now, if you're going after an aircraft carrier, I'd be a little nervous here, but uh, we're not. <laughs> we're going after two lone poor transports who have 
A couple of pop guns a piece, and actually this one looks like it's knocked out. So this is just this is just mean, absolutely mean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing over here? You didn't get a chance to form up, huh? Alright. So here they come. Here comes the dive. One of them took a hit. That guy's taking a little hit. Hit you in your oil pan. And here you go. Let me just watch this. It's absolute. Oh, jeez. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this one already sank. <laughs> I just couldn't stand up to that. This one here, she might live. That's a pretty gnarly fire. I'm gonna shoot back as best she can. But again, that's Shokaku right there. Or actually, that might have been Zui's group. I don't know. So, regardless, these guys are pros. These guys here, Merchant Mariners. Those guys there have no more home. So, well, hopefully they sink slow enough where you can get some of these lifeboats off so you don't have to fight the white tips. Um, but these guys here, maybe. Let's check our, uh, let's check our report. Critical and heavy. Yeah, she's not going to make it. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Yep, she's done too. Alright, so there you go. Two transports. So that entire transport fleet that I let go the other day, none of them are going to make them back down to a spur or two. Um, so, somebody's got some explaining to do. <laughs> but again, hopefully these guys can make it home safe and sink slow enough where it's not an issue. Let's get out of here. Alright, RTB. For you guys. And again, we still have this group of 12 vowels here from Shoei, so that was from Zui. Let's uh, go down here and find something. Fun last thing to murder today. And then we're going to call it good. Three destroyers, two destroyers. Oh, we got 90 nautical miles. Let's uh, head down this way because I think that's where those cruisers went. Or actually, maybe they went up here. I Actually, uh, yeah, I think they were up here. Let's see what we find. Nope. Heading back home. It's okay. It's only noon. Let's go ahead and send a couple of uh, Jakes out. See if we can find anything for our last hurrah here. Our last boot in the ass out of the door. Let's do one more. Shall we? Out that way. Here we go. Of course, all of our other planes are gone. So let's go ahead and uh, send those out. One last time, just in case there's a submarine spooking around out here. In fact, we ought to send a couple zeros. Cover these guys' as approach right there. A couple more zeros here. And what the hell, Shortland, you got some too. Go ahead and put them in the air. There we go. See if we spot anything. I'm not worried about these destroyer groups here. Yeah, I, I get it. Let's check our uh, flight groups here. So Shokaku's almost got her entire flight group. Zuikaku is a little short on Kate's, but she's good on Val's. And so... I mean, this carrier group is still like 75, 70, 75 percent effective. What do we got here? These are destroyers. 
No, oh, come on, man. Is there something in here? I want you to go find it. This cruiser's got to be around here somewhere. There they are. They're right there. All right, here we go. One more. Uh, vowels. Let's do vowels. Right there. So we're going to send these guys out. Oh. <laughs> There's a new merchant group. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> We've got plans for you, man. <laughs> sure. Send out the vowels. Right down there. <clears throat> And again, like this guy, we've already spotted him. He's probably heading up our way. But we're just going to be able to sit here and absolutely just ping pong strikes off him. Uh, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so they get up to about here over the course of the night. But that's okay. Here we go. Attack. Start. Select all. Warm up. Oh, they're shooting at something. Whatever. <laughs> what do we got here? Transports. Ah. Oh, what do we got here? You are a C3. You're a C3. And you're a C3. So four on each. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Warm up. Target this guy. Attack. Oh, wait a minute. One, two. One, two, three, four. Warm up. Yep. Two, three, four. Warm up. One, two, three, four. Warm up. L1. Target this guy. Attack. L5. Target this guy. Attack. Gold leader. Number 8. Attack. <clears throat> what else we got in here? We got... That's another Cleveland. And another Cleveland. And you see, they just got an endless like supply of these. So, which is ridiculous. So, as far as the war actually went... So, Val 1, Titan 10, C3, go ahead and get in there. Here we go, let's follow him in, shall we? Come on, dude, do your thing. Boom! Nice hit! <laughs> what about you? Oh, you got trouble too. <laughs> oh, they got one too. Two of our guys, but that's okay. We just dropped a shitload of bombs on you. <laughs> Here come these guys. Last but not least. So, let's see. We lost two valves already. And here come the Boombas. Boom! <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, played this game a lot, but it never gets old. So we lost one, two, three, four vowels, but we still had three left on deck. And so, you know, basically we can launch out an entire Northern Strike group. This guy here, he is cooked. He is donezo. Absolutely donezo. So, you know, when they're running with line ahead like this, I mean, you just pick off the ones towards the rear and call it good. You know? And so, yeah, we did lose one, two, three, four valves there, so which is not good. This guy's burning pretty hard. Let's check our uh, report here. So, critical damage on four and heavy damage on ten. Oh, I'm sorry, on eight and heavy damage on ten. So, this guy here is probably not going to make it. So... Which means this convoy slowed down. And there she goes. So this one here is done as well. 
So now the only question is, does this one actually survive? Back here. Um, and of course these guys are just going to steam on. Not even worry about picking up survivors. Who knows, maybe there's 2,000 Marines on this. Which is horrifying if you think about it. So, absolutely horrifying. The ship here just had a secondary explosion. So, not good for her. Let's go ahead and bunch up our birds. Just sit back and watch. Let's see what happens here with this one. Yeah, I mean, at this point in time, we've sunk, like, basically an entire Marine Division, and considering they only had one and a half in the South Pacific, <laughs> I think uh, Ernest J. King would have some, <laughs> some some questions to answer before Congress at this point in time. <laughs> so, but again, I mean, it's, it's cool having a game, like, unlike Carriers of War, where it's always on the operational view. Um, you get the tactical view in this game, and so you get to see things like this, which is, uh, I mean, it should be, I mean, they're fun to watch and stuff, but it also should bring it home for you a little bit. Imagine if you're a dude who was like, you know, uh, you know, an oiler down in here. What the what the fuck are you gonna do right now? <laughs> nothing. You got nothing. You're done so. You know? And as much as I like war games, I, I do like to try and I, I play war games because they they help me experience things that already happened. So in this game here does a really good job of that. Uh, really, really good job of that. Um Kind of like Silent Hunter 4, <laughs> you know, especially if you lose your own sub, <laughs> yeah, which I've done many times. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's check our damage report here. Um, heavy damage on, t on number 10, which is this guy right here. But looks like he's probably going to live, or she's probably going to live. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. See if uh, we get another fire here, or if she gets that one out. Of course, we have one, two, three more ducks over there, which will be easy target practice for tomorrow morning. Oh, oh. That fire flew back up. So, oh, and back down. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how greedy we can get here. But regardless, this ship would have to peel off and head back down to a spirit too, just for the sake of her crew and whatever... If there's marines on here, absolutely. If there's supplies, eh. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but uh, if there were marines, absolutely, definitely. All right. Let's go ahead and get out of here. She's not going to sink. All right. Return to base. Off you go. 1542, getting a little bit close towards dusk. So got these guys coming out here looking for something. Could send them down there, but uh, we want to send them towards these... Light cruisers, get one more strike in here for the series. Yep, I see you. <laughs> 1603, not quite dusk. Let's go ahead and do this. That goal. There we go, one more. Form everybody up. And Vic. And oh my goodness, they're right there. So let's uh, go ahead and peel out this way. Get ready for our attack. So what do we got? We got one, two, three, four light cruisers that still managed to survive here. So let's see. We got heavy on five. Let's go after five and six. Four, five, and six on this one. We got a full flight of valves. Yeah, let's do it. Four, five, and six are our targets. Let's go ahead and get these guys uh, ID'd here. Uh, F6, you are not an airplane, you are a ship. And you are a Cleveland, which I just passed. There you are. Nope, not bad. Cleveland, yep. You, 
you, who was listing hard to port there, you are also Cleveland. And you, who are listing slightly to port, you are also Cleveland. We are going to see if we can introduce you to the bottom of the sea. Might as well be direct about it. <laughs> Front door is always the best. <laughs> Just kick it in. So four, five, and six. Five is not moving. She should be an easy target. Six is bunched up behind her. She should be an easy target too. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Up. Five, six, seven, eight. Herbal leader. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Gold leader. Herbal leader or rogue leader. Target. Tack. Herbal leader. You get five. Tack. Gold leader. You get four. Tack. Here we go. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Here come our boys. Coming in, trying to get a couple last kills for the series here. It has been a bloody, bloody day for the Americans today. A very, very bloody day. And here those guys go, making their dive. These guys making their dive. So those will be almost simultaneous. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Go the Boombas, lost one. Boom! Bombs! And oop! Got, got a, only a couple hits on her. Looks like we lost two. Looks like we lost two. Three! We lost three. So well, that's what happens when you attack light cruisers, I suppose. So but definitely got some good hits in there. And let's check the report. Critical, 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 heavy, heavy moderate on that last one. Let's see. That's a gnarly fire. Of course these light ships have pretty amazing. We lost another Val. Pretty amazing damage control. As, as demonstrated in the last two videos, three videos, <laughs> And maybe in this one as well. Look at that. She's writing herself already. But we got one. We got this one right here. Whoever you are, you are Dunzo. So we're going to go ahead and sit here and give the Americans one last hurrah. Or at least one last view on our series here. And see maybe if we get this one back here. But we definitely have this one right here. So, but we can watch the uh, lukewarm waters of the Solomon Sea. Actually, I think that now they're in the Coral Sea right now. So, in the Coral Sea, claim one more American light cruiser. Um, who have been pretty tough opponents in this series. So I look forward to employing them if I play an American series, whether on camera or off. Um, I will definitely be grabbing myself some Cleveland class light cruisers. <laughs> and some Atlantis, which we have also fought valiantly and sunk a few of. But when it comes down to it, these Cleveland ships are not to be messed with. Not to be messed with. And like the uh, the Montpellier, and I think it was the Helena was the other one that we got. Mm. We've got another one here. And those are my birds uh, flying off into the sunset there. At least I hope. <laughs> not sinking or not splashing. <laughs> but there we go. One more. Cleveland class light cruiser. Looks like your sister here is going to be okay. This one maybe not so much. But yeah, looks like she's going to survive too. Let's check it out. Check the report here. 
heavy and moderate critical and heavy so one of these is not doing too well that would be this one right here be this one right here we might want to speed this up here just a little bit so we lost four valves uh, who are rapidly disappearing in the sunset go ahead and nab them off the way see what happens here with these two ships one sister is gone this one's not looking too hot you have to see go ahead and give it just a little bit of time here of course we did have that sub here too oh crap I didn't want to click off them now I lost them <laughs> well damn it <laughs> what <ifs? laughs> alright boys good job head on home you guys definitely earned uh, some sake and whatever the Japanese version of sandwiches are when you get home. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Off we go. So that's one more Cleveland. Another one that's going to be tied up in dry dock for a year. <laughs> and another one <laughs> that'll be there for at least six months. Let's go ahead and call it quits here. Um, so 1606 here on the 22nd of August, 1942. So that's going to do it for the series here, folks. Uh, I think we've got the Americans decently, uh, well, not decently, but thoroughly defeated. Um, even though, like, the game says not so much. Uh, the, uh, the tally of sunk ships says we're good. So that's 95. We just sank the USS Topeka, along with a whole bunch of other light cruisers here. All right, so, um, yeah, it was a little challenging there for a little bit, but, um, you know, another 10 videos, and this would be boring and completely flipped over. And so I'm going to duck out here gracefully, and, uh, you know, I'll just give you some thoughts on the game in particular. This game is probably the best game. Well, actually, no, it's not probably. It is the best game that I have played since uh, Carriers of War, uh, which is my gold standard, as you've probably seen through my other videos. Now, this game in particular brings so much more to life than that game did in the past. Um, although it's missing a little bit of the tension from time to time, um, it captures the entire feel of this campaign in particular in, in really good form. And so hats off to all of you there at Killer Fish Games. You've done a really bang up job on this game. And this is one that I will play for many, many years. All right. Maybe not on YouTube, but I guarantee you I will be playing this one, especially at times where like I need to reconnect with the, uh, the Pacific War, which for me is a little bit more frequent than most. <laughs> But I really want to give you guys all a big thumbs up for this game. Um, I've enjoyed it immensely. Um, I, you know, there's some other great YouTube videos out there and series on it. Wolfpack is great. Too tall. You're doing a good job. <laughs> I appreciate all of you at Rainbow Slash. You're doing a good job on this series. Um, I'm just not. I, I'm. I'm just. I, I think I'm. I'm good and I'm full for the moment. And so you've given me a really satiating, satisfying meal here. And uh, I do appreciate all your efforts. I do want to come back and play this one as the as the USN. Uh, although playing as the Japanese has been fairly challenging because, you know, you kind of feel the weight of whatever's coming your way. And you kind of have to make do with what you got. And I know I never got the uh, the Yamato. Um, I did get, you know, mini Kido Butai set up here, Carrier Division 1, uh, which used to be Carrier Division 5. Um, and you know, you've done a good job of actually like making carrier combat count in this game, which is hard to do. <laughs> so many people, you know, they, they want the, the surface combat, but you have to understand that your carriers are heavy hitters and you've all done a really good job on that here. And so, um, for those of you who subscribed over the last like three, four months when I've been playing this game, I appreciate it. I'll be back for more down the road. Um, stick with me. Don't stick with me. It's totally fine. Um, I'll be back regardless whether or not it's with this game or 
or hopefully you know there's a couple other games in the in the pipeline there that i i'm really looking forward to play playing in the future but this one uh has definitely done it for me over the last several months um it's been fun coming back here on saturday nights and you know playing with my carriers <laughs> and uh, uh you know I, I really do appreciate all of you who give me you know really really good feedback really positive combat or content uh or comments in um you know the the few friends of you that i've made over the course of this series i, I appreciate your your comments and uh you know i look forward to your friendship for many years and so please uh you know stick with me in the next couple of months we'll be back we'll do some more carrier combat then but in the meantime take care stay safe out there hope you're all doing well and we'll see you all soon bye now see ya